<laughs> Get over here right now. Come here. I don't think my dad talked to me in a friendly voice until I was in like 30. For real. What? Come here. He only talked to you through God his teeth. damn it. <laughs> Come here. You fucking it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> My sweet mommy. Oh. Angel kisses before bed. Although when mommy got mad, I was always like, <gasps> Mommy got mad. She'd slap you in the face, dude. It's the worst, dude. Mommy, mommy was, gets mommy so mean, hit dude. pretty good. Yeah, mommy. When mommy gets mad, it's, oh, God. No. Your mom hit you with a shampoo bottle? Yeah, she threw a shampoo bottle at my head and it cut my Did fucking you? eyebrow. Yeah. Oh, she, you get the cut? And then she immediately started crying. Did you go like, to school like, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Whenever I got a cut that was visible, I felt like a fucking beast. Yeah, yeah you beast sick. off the cut. What was the song you came out to in wrestling? <laughs> what was, was it? Uh, God's when gonna the, cut oh, you down. God's gonna cut you down? <laughs> yeah, that was my old song. <sighs> Coming up next, the 87 pounders. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sooner or later, gonna cut you down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can run along for a long time. Yeah, I, was a I wanted to be a tough a guy so time. bad back then. You were a tough guy, dude. You're a little nasty little wrestler. Yeah, dude. A little spider monkey. Yeah. <laughs> I did I did substitute a teacher take me to the side one time outside in the hallway, and she goes, What's going on at your house? I went, Nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Dumbass. I just like just had a black eye. <laughs> <laughs> I had to plead with my teachers whenever they would give me detentions. I'd be like, "You don't understand. I'm about to get my fucking ass beat." For yeah, this. dude. All I did was fart during the class. Now you're <laughs> signing me up to get <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I would go home and just get fucking rocked. Well, the funny dude. thing is, dude, I was like thinking get about this. Slap, scream. Dude, yeah, but, it would be running. But you wake up the next morning and it's like it never happened. Yeah. I remember waking up and just being like, all right. I man, served my good. time on that one. Never, never once was I like connecting the issues of like what I had done, what had happened. No, I just no, wake no. up and be like, <sighs> yeah, you just got to get oh. through like two slaps. Yeah. You're like a dog. You just run downstairs and you yeah. go like, sweet man, I'm going to eat breakfast now. That's yeah. I never once was like, oh man, I got my ass kicked yesterday. Today, I'd wake up and be like, <laughs> and just like yeah, run yeah, downstairs yeah. and eat as many bowls of cereal as I could, and then like run outside. I don't know what your experience is with women, but that's usually how it goes. Gonna gigantic fight the night before they wake up. They're like, hello, good morning. You're like, wait, what? You don't remember what you said to me? Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's very true as well. Remember last night? Everyone hates me. Yeah. My family hates me. Remember that one? <laughs> Good morning. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I was a little crazy. Yeah, sorry. I was fucking crazy last night. You know I get that way. Yes. You know I drink too much and party. I fielded some stunners and just been like, what? Yeah. I yeah. When I get hit with the fucking fuck you, no one likes you, all that, I usually, I can laugh my way through a lot of it. Yeah. Yeah, you get hit. It's, well, sometimes you just go like, "All right, well," because then in your head, if you ever go, imagine if I said something to this cat. It's like there's, there's no. You, can't. you ever say one back? No, I've never dropped like. No, a, actually, oh. <laughs> you're saying this to me. <laughs> <laughs> you go like this. You you're, go. They're built for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they're built you go, for it. Guess what? <laughs> Everyone hates you. <laughs> Yeah, but they're like phoenixes. How did you say that to me? They're like phoenixes, dude. They're, they just go. Blah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. Like, Hi. Like, yeah, Blah. yeah. They wake up like fights didn't happen, unless you were the perpetrator. Oh, god. then the fight—that's three oh, months. Oh my god, dude. They go, baby, oh. baby. I know I'm in the doghouse, baby. Come on, <laughs> let me out. Let me get some milk. <laughs> let a doggy get a bone from you. <laughs> <laughs> but if they do it, yeah. As soon as the sun comes up, nothing happened. <laughs> they could fuck a guy. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> make you breakfast. Yeah. You're like, well, I'm gonna. Well, eat we're this. even. I made you breakfast. <laughs> you didn't even apologize. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, it's uh. It's pretty tough stuff, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, their ability to bounce back, cheerful disp disposition, just a 
like literally like they pull off a thing and it's just hell rider yeah flame head, get in a fight like, with a girl at a party you're oh, like fuck you, you fucking shut the fuck up and they walk in there and like hello everyone I know. and they're like i'm still mad <laughs> did you remember what you just did <laughs> god damn it shane come here <laughs> just <laughs> just my dad god damn it that fucking cat <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of that cat and you just keep it <laughs> Dude, spazzing through your teeth is the funniest fucking shit. Yeah, it's starting to happen to me. Yeah. It's beginning. I say, God damn it. God damn it. I get a fucking call from my agent. God damn it. I'm trying to play MLB The Show. I'm 35. I'm declining calls from my mother. (laughs) What does my mom want? (laughs) How did the show go? You don't understand how comedy works. So I'm not even going to explain it for a second. I know you're trying to connect with me. <laughs> she tried so hard. She's like, what What type of... It's, it's, I feel bad. She's being nice, obviously. Yeah, of course. She has no idea, obviously, I'll stand up. Yeah. I'm being a fat brat. <laughs> and she's like, what type... Do you ever... She asks, like, basic podcast questions. Yeah. What got you into doing comedy? Yeah. Where where do you upload? Where do you it even to? come up with these bits? <laughs> do you it's, like sit down and write them? Oh, she loves you so and much. I go, Mom, I'm not explaining to you my creative process. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you so much. She does. Oh my god, it probably hurts her how much she loves you. Yep. Oh. And then I well, she does time slave me. The only time she calls, yeah. she's in her car on her yeah. fucking loud ass. They all fucking 2013 do that, Kia fucking <laughs> Bluetooth. <laughs> yeah, just a, a wind. The windows are down. The windows are down. She's yeah. on her way back from Boscov's. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing a show. I always do shows. <laughs> are you going to talk about anything new? You know I don't have new material, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> my family also keeps asking if i'm okay uh which that's been fucking that'll me make up. me cry right away my sisters are like you okay I'm like, yeah yes yeah, fine. what the fuck dude <laughs> now i'm like am i something wrong you were with me little man i think my sister texted again i was like stop saying this yeah. we're in the car i was like well now i think something's wrong with me <laughs> yeah. now i'm sad <laughs> yeah well now that i think about it <laughs> I guess I did order Primo's hoagies twice <laughs> since I've been here. Since I've been in the they casino, I've had two. Your Uber Eats receipt, like, Shane, are you okay? Shane, are you all right? You had macaroni salad twice this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess now that I think about it. <laughs> then I go, then you sound like a psycho. You're like, no, things are the best they've ever been, Mom. Yeah. Like, well, when you say it like that, it sounds like it's not. <laughs> Think I'm great. Fuck. Don't ask me about my jokes. Stop asking about anything personal. <laughs> <laughs> you need angel kisses, dude. I know. I got to think back to the angel kisses. You need angel kisses. That doesn't even sound, that doesn't sound that great. Angel, angel kisses? kisses? Lay Put down, dude. Tongue. Lay down. <laughs> he wants angel. He's trying to trick you into angel kisses, I'll dude. I'll get a sheet. Just the sheet, not the comforter. You got to get the sheet. Oh, it goes yeah. slow on you, and you go. <laughs> <laughs> you get the chill. You go, ooh. Mom, thank you again for another great day. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. You're my best fucking friend. Please make noodles and noodles tomorrow. <laughs> You're my best fucking friend in the whole world, Mom. God, I hate Dad. He's such a motherfucker. <laughs> He's so fucking mean. I don't even know that guy. <laughs> you and me are like best friends. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you see them kiss, you're like, motherfucker. Yeah, you see him kiss, you stick your head through the banister. You're like, Son of a bitch. Fuck, this guy's not going anywhere, dude. (laughs) Fuck. I'm going to have to start lifting. (laughs) He keeps making out with my best friend. (laughs) And then you come once and you go, get the fuck out of here, mom. Yeah, Drew. I'm here to whack off now. (laughs) Seventh grade. We're done being friends. Now I wish you would leave. I don't want angel kisses. All I want is to hear the garage door close so I can <laughs> fucking hit the family computer. Has your mom ever called you? Like no, but they definitely knew when I was. Yeah. You're in the shower? I would hit the... I'd be like, I had a rough day. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, okay, you're in eighth grade, dude. Obviously, you didn't have a rough day. <laughs> you're gonna go whack off for one hour. <laughs> you would build up like a yeah, man. Exactly. I gotta blow off some steam. I would just hang in there. The fucking religion test was tough. <laughs> <laughs> Religion test was died. I knew like fucking five elements on the periodic table today. I looked like a jackass. You guys mind if I take the Boscov's I'm catalog gonna, in with me yeah, to read some whoa, shit with you? He's got some cool sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> is it, this is a swimsuit? When did the swimsuits come out in Boscov's? Mom? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go beat the hell out of my dick for one hour in the show. Yeah, that is it. It was just you're afraid the whole time in your house. Then you come and you're just kind of like, oh, nice. Yeah. This adds a whole dimension of problems on Yeah. No idea. But then, you know, then you get old and become a complete master of your existence. Now you're in complete control. Complete control of everything. Master of my domain. <laughs> it's just me, mice, and ants. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I am the master. I go, I'll take a bite. I go, here, you guys have a little something. <laughs> something for the fellas. Where are my buddy, my, my little TTs? Where are my TTs? Where are my sweet TTs? Oh my God. <laughs> dude, that is fucking depressing. Look at that, dude. Oh my God. Oh my Just God. me and the TTs. I'm trying to win a World Series. <laughs> oh, 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 God, I'm crying. I'm trying to win a World Series in the show. Oh. I mean, the sweat. Oh. I would never hit the TTs. You're not going to attack them? I will not attack them. I might let them go. Dude, it's... One bite and it's over, though. Yeah. yeah. If I get fucking, <laughs> dude. If I'm sleeping and I got ants in my pants. Oh. <laughs> they have ant traps immediately. I'm I'll going down you. to the snake store and getting some fucking... <laughs> they definitely have ant traps. <laughs> you should let a reptile crawl. It would be them. awesome to get an oh, ant eater. I'm crying. You know how people get cats from ice? Ant eater be nah. Get a fucking 10 foot long ant eater. <laughs> no, that's like fucking huge, dude. You ever see those guys? <laughs> 10 feet. No, right? obviously 10 feet. Their tongues are long as hell. They're what? They three footers? I think they're big. Dude. I know really? they age. No, six to eight feet. What? Dude. Look at these fucking giant the fucks, dude. The fuck? They're huge. I dude. thought they were the size they're of. They're fucking huge. It would take up the, it'd be the whole room. Dude, if you had a fucking head, really... look at that stupid fuck, dude. Dude, that's you and a football player just sitting on the couch yeah. all the time. Man, I would love an Annie. I thought they were like the size of fucking like not squirrels, like cats. No, they're huge. What the fuck? You ever see the fucking ant hills they munch? No. The mounds they munch are like fucking 30. They're not 30. They're huge. Where the dude. fuck do anteaters live? I'm talking about a giant anteater. Those are African bros. True. God damn, dude. Armadillo in here. Oh would my be nice. God. Baby Yo, they, anteaters. Did you see this new thing on Google? Up. They let you, they like do a 3D model of the yeah, animal. Yeah, see where the anteater looks like in my room. What? I see if I can swing this or not. <laughs> <laughs> let me see if you can swing this fucking. A lot of guys get an ant trap. I went and got a <laughs> this fucking dumbass in a suit. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. They're gonna the government's trying to map out the interior of your apartment. I'm not gonna let them do that. Ooh, good call. Yeah, I'm not gonna let them do I that. I guess we should stop filming that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't post video of my apartment weekly. Oh, oh damn it! Government got us. Shit, dude. They probably have this mapped out in a <sighs> warehouse in San Diego. They could, where do you think they would enter from? In Virginia, they've got a exact replica of my apartment. They're training <laughs> on how to stop me. They can't. If they break in here, me and my anteater are going to fucking go nuts. <laughs> I don't know. I had no idea, dude. If, you know, people learn definitely one thing, that anteaters are fucking Bro, six feet. Think dude. of me and this guy on the couch together. Oh, my Both of us chilling, dude. But you'd have to be like, dude. Dude, get yeah, up. Get up. They're fucking out again. Because they're going to want like at least 100 ants a month. You're going to have to release more ants in your house to keep the anteater going. Uh, there used to be uh, prehistoric anteaters that were like giant, dude. Hold on. Let me see these. <laughs> I was going to, yeah, whatever. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> no, that's. I was going to Google old anteaters. <laughs> <laughs> Well, goddamn, dude. That's fun. That was a good old time. Yeah, that's fun. Dude, you bore us up on your back. It's time for 
man, you better give me an angel kiss because I'm going to take a nap. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap before my five shows you where I bomb it? five oh, yeah. fucking times. Well, dude, you did it, man. That was yes. fucking... That was soaring through the air. That was fun. We had a good time. Anteaters. <laughs> Anteaters are the shit, dude. Yeah. I forgot how sick they were. It's a really big thing. Just It's a giant... Nonsensical animal, but look yeah, at the sweet TTs, dude. Oh my god, dude! I'm dude. If I was Andy right now, I guess now, you don't I'm have fully... to Google it. You can just look at the. You can just look around. You'll see one. <laughs> you ever get bit by a fucking ant? Yeah, I got bit dude, by a fire sucks. ant. I watched one bite me once. Dude, I got bit by a fire ant in Texas. It fucking Whoa, hurts. Whoa, well that blows so bad. I tried to eat an ant when I was a little kid, and it bit my tongue. And I was like, ah! <laughs> one of those big black ants. Yeah, I used I was, to eat them when I was little. I was, I was in my funny. basement. I was playing vidges and I there was an ant and I like picked it up and I was like watching I watched it like <laughs> I was like <laughs> <laughs> fuck <laughs> what the fuck back to NCAA <laughs> oh, oh my god all right yes where are we at time wise 111 I'm just curious about Ooh, that's, 57. That's perfect. That seemed like for not yeah, in a good way. That was way. nice. That was fun. It seemed like forever in a good way. Got the Wachowskis, got the Anteaters. We did it. No, oh, I didn't even read the, all of Van Gore's Bastard quote. Damn it. Well, I'll just have to do that when you guys leave. Next time. I'll just have to do that by myself. To be continued. Thank you. Bye. Uh. Jim West, Desperado, Rough Rider, no you don't want nada. Hey. <laughs> hey. Dude, we had to take you to the bed, dude. All, of, to all the haters out there saying we're not even trying anymore. You're welcome Shut to the fuck up, dude. <laughs> What's well, better than that? Get in a hotel and just get in a hotel and just get in a hotel and just. I'm more into these. Really? I'm more into these. I'm more into these. You get the fuck. <laughs> Those are torps, dude. <laughs> just spaz Those are kick. torps. Yes. Yes. It's rumpus time. <gasps> They're tight. I'm fucking straight as hell. The fucking muscles are tight. All right, thank you. The Wild Wild West. Whew, that's a good shot right there. Oh, nice. That's the shot right hey. there. Are you sound speed? Oh, <laughs> you hurt your knee? Yes. Dude, be careful. 466 children have been shot so far this year in America. This year? Yeah. Dang. That stinks. 466? Whoa, 10,000 suicides. Yeah. <laughs> with guns. Yeah. Just with guns. They There's the... Uh, so far this year. 10,000. C- CDC estimate. 10,000 suicides. CDC estimate? Yeah. Okay. It's probably a little low. They probably feel bad they about tend, what they, they did. Tend. <laughs> CDC estimate? That's the fucking official word. Yeah, I mean, dude, they did that. Did you ever read the book Chasing the Scream? No. The uh, Johan Hari, I think his name is, or whatever I forget his name, but he... Uh, no, you got to cite it. He said, it's not Yovel Hari. Yovel Hari is like the evolution nerd. Johan Hari is the guy who did Chasing the Scream in the other book. Uh, something else. But they were saying in England, they used to have this some sort of like these gas ovens and like you get a lot of people sticking their heads in the gas. Oven oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's how people used to and they took It was like the public gas and they took public gas away and people had to get it. It did drop off. People had to get a little more creative. Yeah. I'm not trying to take anyone. I don't want to take anyone's guns. You don't want to take that guns? was, that was a pretty solid statistic when they were like, Oh, people are going to kill themselves no matter what. And they took away public gas and like people were just like, yeah, I, fuck can't, it. I don't know how the oven's to, not here. Yeah. There was a famous, uh, famous female poet who gassed out. Her. Stuck her head in the oven. Yeah, who was is it? Who was that again? What the fuck was her name? She was a famous female poet, like, gassed. I think almost her whole family. She oh. definitely got herself. I think she like tried to like block her children's rooms off. I don't know if she got the kids, but Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath yeah, she rolled the dice on a wow. gas, a gaseous suicide. Wow, I had no idea. Sylvia Plath, man, what a fucking idiot! Fucking asshole. She almost got her kids. 
I think so. Oh, they, she were, went they were for in the house. No, no, no. To, I think she, she tried, tried to protect them. She did the old like freshman dorm room like towel under the door. Yeah, I like, yeah, hope yeah. this gas doesn't pass through. I think she might have set up a chill or a uh, what are those I things wish, called uh, with a Febreze towel, yeah. a paper towel? She's like breathe through this. <laughs> I wish you would have done that in like, there. Killed myself? No. <laughs> Put a towel on the floor so that gas didn't leak out Dude. here. Yo, O'Connor dumped in the green room last night. Oh, that's... he is a vicious, yeah, vicious crapper. Yeah. And he hit the green room crap, which is he's a, it's a rude thing to do. That green room too. You, there's no room for it, and there's no ventilation in that bathroom. I've done it. I'm yeah, not I mean, lie. I've you, done it. Sometimes you have to do it. That's and all. That that's was one of the times it. O'Connor did have to do it. True. What was what was going on with the staff bath? What's that? What was wrong with the staff bath? True. Absolutely true. Oh, he was featuring though. Yeah, he should have. He had hit a feature. He had a feature tummy. He did. He had grumbles. He had a little feature tummy. And yeah, he, he should have hit staff bath. He should have hit the staff bathroom. But that does suck because usually you get the you get the grumblies right like right halfway through the host and you're like oh is this, you know I don't have time but he crapped and it lingered for oh, over sucks. an hour that might be the one place you really can't take a shit in and he room. sprayed it oh, it's even so worse it was just it yeah just Febreze with a hint of shit at the end Ugh. anyway this is rotten a good fruit this is what we want it is rotten fruit it's nasty dude <laughs> what's up dude how are you dude I'm good I'm fucking I like have not slept in two days. <laughs> Had two cups of coffee. Me neither, brother. Yeah. You and me are on the same We're stage. basically partying. We're both partying hard as hell. <laughs> We're having the party times of our lives. Dude, yeah, I've, I've been up I've been up for pretty much two straight nights. So it's not that hard, though. Everyone says the second kid is like, oh, my God. I mean, so far, it's not too bad. Can you just play Age of Empires the whole time? <laughs> Could you? I can't do anything. Could you get a laptop? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do anything. You can't play Age of Empires. Any, I literally perform chores and just like weird duties all day. And at the moment I have downtime, I have to sleep. Because if I don't sleep, oh. if I don't go to sleep, I stay up, then a kid wakes up, and it's like you're just locked in for another six hours oh. of just like the most inane, active, like repetitive. You're just m trying to make sure like a a little being doesn't kill themselves. Yeah. They're not trying to kill themselves, but there's no – Yeah, they can very easily. And now I have to make sure a two-year-old doesn't kill herself and a baby. Yeah. Because they'll just lay on a baby's head for like 10 minutes and I'll think about it. <laughs> so it's like you're like cats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cats dude. do that, which is kind of funny. Yeah, dude. It's it's not funny, obviously. When but cats kill a each cat other? Lays, like, no, lay on a baby. And cats will suffocate babies by laying on them. Are they, do they on purpose or just like no. they're just like they go to sleep? I don't know why I think this is true. No, I think they do it. I think it's true. Dude, there's so many warnings. When you have kids, you're not supposed to sleep in bed with them because like you can just roll over on your kid and, and just smush the crush fuck it. Out of it's done. But someone told me they put those warnings on. It's just for like drunks. Like any like normal person will just pop right up, but they're saying like they put them on because people like drink rip like an eight pack and pass out and just like smosh <laughs> smosh their kids <laughs> and wake up Dude. with like the worst hangover oh ever. Oh my god! Just, wait, just realize that you'd be like that would be a sick on hangover a five. Just a baby on a chair and you oh. come in hammered like, <laughs> just like oh no <laughs> yeah, oh <dude>. shit <laughs> it's probably pretty constant yeah. You know, I mean, I know gun deaths are a pretty bad thing. Gun deaths are but bad. We do have a lot of dudes got a lot of drunk moms and dads, sponching kids, dude. sitting down on kids. Yeah, rolling over. The CDC needs to look into those numbers too. Oh yeah, they do. That's why there's like big all caps on every child <laughs> yeah. thing. Like, don't fucking sponge your kid. Yeah, put it in a crib by itself. People will like leave like towels and shit draped on it, and the kids will just grab a towel and just put it over their face and just be like, oh, "Fuck, game <laughs> I'm over." Stuck. I don't know how to get this off my head. Yeah, and you're just fucking ripping logs, dude. You're just sleeping off like 19 fucking yinglings. <laughs> and you wake up and you go, oh, no. Did you ever see Manchester by the Sea? Yes. Yeah. So sad. He had a couple of drinks. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he walked. He went to like the gas station. <laughs> His whole feet came back. He was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Dude, it's it's literally, it's that in the back of your head all the time. You're like, my, I might Manchester by the I might like, what am I not thinking of that could possibly Manchester yeah, you by could the Manchester. Yeah, dude, it's the worst. Yeah, the gun violence is wild. Yeah, pretty high. It's pretty high. I mean, I like that we're not doing anything about it though, too. I mean, dude, you know what I mean, as a country, we're all just kind of like, this is what we do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's also, I, I mean, there is neither side's really offering a viable fucking. Well, you're in Europe. There's less people getting shot, and they have no guns. Yeah, but but they also set up for did tyranny. Have, they are set up for tyranny. They also did have World War II. True, that was their fault. Very true. If they had so, more guns. They could have stopped. True, they could have stopped the. They could have stopped the Hitler. 
Mm. Should have stopped Hitler yeah. and all of his boys. That what is that? Godwin's law. Like the longer an argument goes on, the quicker. Like eventually Hitler gets brought up and someone gets compared to Hitler. I mean, there's a rule. Um, sorry, I'm reading. I'm reading an etymology book right now. About what? I got an etymology book sent to me. That's fun. Etymology is great. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the author. I've t- I'm gonna start interviewing authors. Put it on the page. That'd be tight. Yeah. Exactly. You should have seen the guard dog last night. What was he up to? Holy shit. What were you up to last night? Oh, man. You know what I was doing, dude. I was minding my P's and Q's. Yeah. yeah. Right. What was he doing dude, in there? The, the, he comes out, the fans, the, the <sighs> pros out there like, oh, shit, it's guard dog. What was he doing? Like, yo, what the He fuck? was like, oh, come on, man. I'm just trying to get a drink. <sighs> I was like, damn, the superstar. <laughs> <laughs> you were laying it on me at the end. Yeah, you, you took that? it personally. Yeah, I remember. I it was hilarious. It I was rubbing your head and being like, dude, it must be so nice having fans. True. So young, too. That's what I was, I was like, damn, dude. You, just, basically, you start with fans, yeah. dude. That's so sick. Justin Bieber status. He's You're basically a child Bieber. star. He's Bieber. He's a child star. You're, yeah. I'm a pop star. You are a pop star. You motherfucking pop you star. You took it personally when I was doing it. You're like, come on, Shane, stop being mean. I was like, I had I to fucking to earn mine, dude. Like, I was being mean to him, and he thought I was serious. <laughs> no, I knew you were joking. Right, I had good. a guy absolutely attack me last night. So yeah. dude on Twitter, it must have been a burner account. Zero, both. And it was just like, fuck you, dude. I'll kick your fucking ass. You're a pussy. Why? I don't know. I started laughing. I was in my bed. Is he tweeting at you? No, it was on DMing me on Instagram. (laughs) Attacked me, dude. Yeah, they. Some of the boys want attention that way. We're cool. I always DM you and be like, "Oh, you fucking fat bitch! I'll beat the (laughs) fuck out of you." I'm like, "All right, man." (laughs) We squashed it. Yeah, you gotta squash. I squash it. I was like, "Dude, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you mad? Why are you doing this?" Dude, the fucking Noah thing is the craziest thing of all time. Should we not talk about that? It's hilarious. He's a tortured artist. He is. I don't know who. I don't know. Why not? Someone fucking. Yeah. yeah. No, he posted it. You can talk about yeah, it. He posted oh, okay. it. Yeah. Someone yeah. fucking torched one of his paintings. Yeah. Somebody purchased art from Noah. Yeah. And then burnt it on camera and said he sucked. Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, his, his wife said Noah which sucked. Which is funny. Yeah, the wife said it. The wife said, this is his wife, and you're not an artist, and this isn't art. <laughs> I mean, dude. The funny if that caught on and people just kept buying Noah's art and burning it. I mean, I know. that kind of rules. <laughs> it is that cool. makes him more of an artist. Yeah. Yeah. That's like a, what What was the time? Was there like a bad time in Spain or something? It reminds me of like a very Spanish problem. <laughs> the Inquisition? The Inquisition, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. It's very Inquisition-esque. I knew Spain had some growing pains there. Spain had a bunch of growing pains. The Inqu- <laughs> was was that which related to the Inquisition or was that just like? A little bit, yeah. But it was like uh they're like, you're not a good enough Catholic. Really? Yeah, yeah shit like that. And they'd fucking burn they'd your paintings? Torture you. They'd burn your commission they'd paintings? They'd burn all your paintings. <laughs> they'd <laughs> stab your paintings. <laughs> that was scary. That was scary. It's a very it Spanish a thing painting. to do, to be it like, I'm burning Spanish. this picture. Yes. You're right. I didn't it think about that. It. Yeah. It is very Spanish, man. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, damn, fuck poor Noah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> very good. Very Man, good. The hotel room. You guys are basically. You, I was just about to ask you. You have no idea what's been going on in here. I can tell. Dude. I walked in. When I walked in here, I went, oh, Jesus. I got like hit with an overwhelming afterglow. Just imagine what I've been doing. In I here. walked in an absolute sexual aftermath. Just a pig <laughs> face in the butt. Just. <laughs> You're suckling, dude. You're suckling at the trough, dude. <laughs> you have her lay horizontal and just get up in the trough, yeah. dude. I, you should I get come in the- running. I run from there. <laughs> I get in the bathroom and get naked. And she lays down and goes, dinner time. And I go, <laughs> and I run out. <laughs> dude, you should get into pig play. It is Pride pig Month. Play is nuts. It is Pride Month, dude. Yeah, the, bro, the boys were out yesterday. I saw them. They're here. They're kicking around. Oh, my eyes are watering. They were having fun. Yeah, dude. Very prideful week. Yeah. My dad my dad threw a vicious PA towards you. Towards me? Yeah, on the way down. He was, like, he was like, how Shane does? Oh, he's been here all weekend. He goes, yeah. What's he doing? I was like, dude, that's a Pete. No, he's doing. He's trying to say it was Pride Week. <laughs> <laughs> I was here all weekend. <laughs> so what? It's no big deal. He might have been complimenting you. He might be like, I'm pumped for Shane. You know, dude. He's so it fucks him up, man. He's not mad. Pride. He it, he's not pissed about it, but he's like, he's like worried about the traffic. He's like, I'm coming down there early. I'm not getting caught up in that. All that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he also really called it gay traffic. It's it is yeah. It's a gay traffic down here. Rittenhouse is... Oh, it's crazy. 
There's a lot of gay foot traffic. I told, dude, someone fucking smacked it, sucked uh, my hat right off my head. Yeah, you got to watch out for those guys, too. They're kicking around, too. I, th- I don't know if he thought. <laughs> I was trying to figure that out. It was a homeless black man. And I was like, is he thinking? Uh, I don't know if he thought. I don't know if I look straight or gay in my outfit. I have a we look very, fucking weird. I have a very colored bathing suit yeah. on. So I think, he, I think he hate cried me as a gay guy. Yeah. I think he thought I was a gay guy. You and Sean together. That's, I was trying to keep my distance Sean's from got Sean. A He's got a fucking Sean's mustache. Got the mustache. You've got a Bender's mustache. <laughs> he does. Yes. Yeti Bender. So I was worried. I kept. I wanted to social distance Sean so people didn't think we were gay. I was trying to keep six feet six the whole feet. time. I'm like, dude, not right now. We're outside of a hotel. We're two dudes. I don't want to steal gay yeah. valor and have people think like no. we're up here. I'm about to fucking dig Sean out. Yeah. You're about to go upstairs and re re Dude, that's the dream. 36-year-old man linking up with a... What are you, 24-year-old boy? 25. Oh, you're 25? Yeah. You better hurry up. A little get more famous. 25 is the clock's ticking, dude. Yeah, that's like sensation <laughs> yeah. stuff. Yeah. Past yeah. that, 30s, like. 30s yeah. sucks. Go to AC. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, the bees has been wilding out this weekend. It's been a fun weekend. Yeah. The con man, dude, he's MIA. I don't even talk to him anymore. We go on the road. He's just. Really? He's his own man. Really? He's he goes and he's up to things. What'd you say? You said he's a Ronin. He is. He's an adult dater. He is an adult dater. <laughs> he's an man. adult dater. He dates. He goes out. He gets on boats constantly. Really? Yeah. Did he get on any? Not he's this on weekend. A boat. Yeah, I think he's Stop. on a boat. I think he's on a boat right now. What? Yeah. He I'm looked. Not, dude, not I right saw now, him from across. Street. I could tell he was hung over from across the street. <laughs> he looked like a puffer fish, dude. I saw him from across <laughs> yeah. the street. Fuck him. <laughs> he's, yeah. Yeah. It was, well, it's also the same thing. Like, uh. Whenever we go on a weekend, it's like, all right, Thursday night, take it easy take on the first easy. night. Take it easy. Don't get fucked up. Yeah. Of course, I got here Wednesday night and got blacked out before even before it even started. You're supposed to take it easy on Thursday, though. So I was supposed to take it easy on Thursday. Technically, you stuck to the plan. I, I got... Mm-hmm. No, I was bad. <laughs> I was hungover for every show. Oh, no. Yeah. Although Thursday, I think I might have taken it easy. Two it easy. Slightly. Yeah. Yeah. What night? Did I stayed, would, no, Thursday I did take it easy because I came back here, but I stayed up late. Yeah, I well, stayed up too late. I came in. No, I was channeling your energies. I was by myself and I channeled my energies into Age of Empires. <laughs> <laughs> I channeled my sexual energy <laughs> into Age of Empires. <laughs> and I played it for that's four what, hours. That's what fuels all the troops in and Age, Age of Empires. Empires. Fucking, it is not a good game. Really? It's just a, it's a cell phone game. You literally like yeah. create, I got to just keep creating guys. That's, that's it. That's so fun. It's not a good game. I mean that's so fun though. It's a dick thing. I can't stop playing it. What are you? You're saying there's no strategy oh, to it, or no, not really. It's just you were just massive, just more yeah. men. Is um, it freemium? Can you pay for, for extra to get some? Perhaps I'll look into it. Check it out. I remember, I dude, I I had a sob clash glance because I was fucking spending on it. That was the most yeah, shameful. We played that fucking World War One game. Yeah, I forgot about that like too. Two hundred dollars <laughs> at least just to buy like dude. a battleship and a plane and be like, I'm fucking these dudes up now. I can't with the freemium games. I can't stop. I literally cannot. I think they have fake guys, like the things they make. Yeah. I think they have like plants, basically. There's no way there's. there's that game was fucking sick. God, that was so fun. That was a sick game. That was so fucking fun. Remember Beezer played with. Do you, do you see like old couples and go like, oh, that's so nice? No. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that either. When I see like a super old couple, I just go like, jeez. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, it fucking sucks. You know dude. what I mean? You see an old like couple walking together. See, and being so old that you just fully rely on someone else, just like, and they get mad at each other, which is fun. That is kind of funny. When you see a dude That's still nice. getting I, I do up. like that. So part of me wants to run up and give him a double British Bulldog. Just right, right. Put him out. Track. Take him out. Send him to Valhalla. Or just, dude, imagine just grabbing just, just British Bulldog and the wife and being like. Get him both of them. Wait, you meant both of them. I double, double Bulldog. Bucket. Put them both in the stocks and jump. <laughs> Is that illegal? <laughs> no, that's definitely illegal. That's definitely illegal. That's not illegal. Don't double, you get, don't you get less time, though, if you, like, drunk drive and kill, like, an old lady? Don't you get, like, less less time for it? You certainly should. Yeah, I think so. I'm Remember, sure. Yes. A lot of elderly know. ladies get fucking Verified crushed facts. by fucking drunk drivers. Geezers? Yeah. Yeah. It happens. Although Slowly they, crossing. That's my favorite traffic fatality is when an old person can't drive and, like, mows down people at, like, 12 miles yeah. an hour. That's a kind of, that's a nice one. I told you I was with my grandpa. We went golfing one time. He was fully geezed. I was in the golf cart with him. He ran over the golf pro. What? In the cart. Pinned him pinned the golf <laughs> pro against where they the the bag holders at the at the pro shop. 
Jesus. Yeah, it's pretty great. Then I got to drive. It was the first time I got to drive the cart. <laughs> what like, a dream. We still hit the links, dude. He was good. How'd the pro do? The pro probably gets hit like that once a week. Probably. <laughs> <Yeah. dude. laughs> Pinned against the wall. <laughs> Just an old man like. <laughs> <laughs> They probably get off on that like, shit. Grandpa Jack, no. They probably get, they probably feel they probably can't breathe. Oh. Like fuck, it's happening oh. again. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. Take it. <laughs> fucking take, take my it. fucking life. It's yours. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the golf pros are some of the horniest dudes on earth. Uh, yeah, dude. That's just, that's a nice gig. Oh yeah. Becoming a pro golf just dude. You um, get to teach the ladies lessons. They wear their nice skirts. Bro. They drink a little vino on the course. Dude, it's probably like an ice wide shot thing between golf pros, personal trainers, and tennis pros. They probably like once a year fucking put on the masks. All the dumbest eat. dudes. Too. Everyone's wife's supposed to. Oh, the it's dumbest crazy. freaks on earth. It's nuts, dude. Personal training is wild. I mean, there's there's obviously good bros out there, but there obviously are some, there are good bros. Yes, there are some Siths though among the personal training. <laughs> yes, it's fucking nuts. There's a Siths amongst guys that goes to the gym. Yes, there's some real weird Siths that go yep. in there in their coolest outfits and seek women. Yeah, which I get. Look, I, I, it's easy for me to sit back and say, "What the fuck?" There's yeah. no part of me that can go into the gym and get pussy. Yeah, I but, go into the gym. It's like. What's I he mean, doing here? what do girl, the girls just look at the dude putting the most plates on the bar, and then is that like how they judge it? Like they have how, gym boyfriends, just like they have work boyfriends. What? Yeah, they have guys they have crushes on at the gym. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, I hate that man. It makes me sick, dude. Women are disgusting. Men are loyal. Loyal as hell. Loyal as hell. It's great. I go there, fucking my blinders on, dude. I'm I at never the gym. look I'm at fucking, the butts. No, nah, man. That's why I go to one guy. Me and a guy. That's it. Me and him. Now he might he might be up to something. But that's fine. He might be trying to get me. That's fine. Everyone slips. He makes up me do those mistakes. fucking hip thrusts to warm up every time. Really? But he listens to the podcast, so he's heard me talk about how he looks at my dick when I do him. Does he stare? So he goes. Oh, he looks away. Yeah. What the hell? I've done. I've ta- he listens to the podcast. Yeah, sure. he's heard me say I go in there and I do those fucking glute bridges and my and fucking his penis. fruitcake trainer stares at my little <laughs> nub sticking straight in the air. <laughs> so now he looks away. <laughs> I've never brought it up to him. <laughs> you gotta but be, I see him looking away. You gotta be, I'm check down there my going, form. You gotta be. Yeah, do you look at him? Like, dude, form check. Yeah, he doesn't form count. Check. Form check. So I need a little squat, little little spot me, spot me. You Grab my hips. Can you lay underneath me and do it for me so I can see oh. how this works? <laughs> Damn, I would like to get tossed around by my trainer Ferg. That'd be nice. He would fuck me up. He'd see if he gave you some juice. I can't. I can't take, juice. Take it to the next level. Could be time, dude. I'm right now. I'm 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 very into just a little bit of stuff now. I think it works fifty times better than this. Might sound so stupid. But it's like weed, caffeine. I think I figured alcohol. I figured it out. Moderation. So just a little bit, dude. But all of them at once. Just a little bit. Mm. And you're just you're enhanced. And you you wake up. You're fine the next day. Obviously, I you know I stayed up for three hours watching black conspiracy videos on YouTube because I did have I did pig out on the dark chocolate. Yeah, but that's a good day. Yeah, that's true. a good night. It, that was fun. you know what I mean. But dude, even with weed, I swear to God, it's just you just need a tiny, teeny, teeny bit of it, dude. Just a teeny, tiny bit. So you're just I'm Matt Plus. Yeah. But then if I get two, I got, again, actually, I don't I like want to talk. Double XL, <laughs> I like Matt XXL. I like Matt Triple X. I'm, dude, I was spazzing on caffeine for a while. So now I've I've ta- I've I've titrated my caffeine intake. Mm. I've totally turned the dial on the weed intake. It's actually, now that I say that, that night of helium, the second night, I was so fucking high. Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was, dude, do you ever, do you ever, you like. You to have a good night. Yeah, but I swear it's more fun if I'm like just not. Re- like, dude, I had a leak. I I look. I hear you. I love a good getting absolutely smashed night. Yeah, that's fun. Now, nine times out of ten of those, I feel terrible about it the next day. Exactly. But when it was like like that was a good night. Yeah, that was a fun night. All the bros were there. Mm-hmm. We all had a nice time. I I don't feel that guilty though on those. Yeah, it's not. I don't. I don't it's, have a guilt. If thing. I get like, if I go and do like spots at the cellar, yeah. and end up getting fucking obliterated on a Tuesday, sure. Then I'm like, geez, yeah, I got to work on some things. No, that makes sense. I don't have a much of a guilt thing about it. It's just the physical effects. That's what really deters me. But I will say, I was in helium, and I was I was so stoned back there that I was like. <laughs> Starting to get like like my whole brain was getting kind of staticky. Yeah. I'd be like, you start asking yourself like the fundamental questions where you're like, so I'm here. Yeah. 
Uh, what do, do I even know these guys? But that stuff that, that wouldn't even get me. I would just go. I got bugged out because I was like, I think I have a governor on the amount of fun I can have, and it's significantly lower than everybody else's. Because I'll just uh, sit there and just go. I'm like, I'm enjoying it. No, I've seen going, you. I, you're I in have your head. fun. You're in your head. I don't know. I've seen you let loose, brother. I know. I, I can't have fun. You're, you're Mr. Responsible now. True. You used, to be, Mr. You used is. to be king of the good times. I saw you have some good times. That's probably what it is. I do have fun. That's the thing. I do have fun. Yeah. But it's like, it's hard to explain. I, I just get like, I think I was just, I was just way too high. I was sitting in the back of a green room and I started being like, especially on the way back, I was going like, so I'm here now. I definitely exist. How did that come about? Oh, that's overwhelming to think about. And I just go, shut it off, dude. Shut it off. Yeah. Shut it down, dude. You're way over Matt Plus. You're Matt Plus, 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 dude. Yeah, dude. We said we're not going to get here anymore, dude. Matt to the 10th. <laughs> yeah, Matt. I was Matt to the 10th. You were to the 10th. I was to the 10th degree. I'm like, dude, you did need like to get Matt the 10th to the degree. 10th degree, dude. It was fun. I saw you drinking that tequila. I got very excited. It got me, bro. Yeah. You would have thought I was in the fields of the boys fucking poking the cacti. Yeah, you were basically the rock in the tequila commercial. I was basically the rock in that commercial. You were just picking like, up gravel oh. going. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be good tequila. Tequila does rule. Tequila does rule. It's very, very nice. In terms of hangover, I think tequila is my favorite of all of them. Yeah. But, but you got to be careful. <laughs> you can run into it's, some problems. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. fucking exponential. White Claw hangovers are horrendous. Terrible, dude. Yeah. I woke up one time bleeding. You get your period from if you have enough like malted. I woke up. I was like, oh, oh. yes. I've done it before with fucking high yeah. noons. I get you get like a period hangover. Yeah, it sucks, Matt. I get period hangovers <laughs> constantly. Dude, take a shit the next day. Like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> Heavy flow. <laughs> Phlegm. <laughs> Dude, white claw hangovers are terrible. White claw hangovers are very bad. I think they have like like a point oh 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 one grams of fentanyl in them or something. They have something because they're starting to go down. And then you think you'd be able to drink twenty of them by the sixth one. You're like, <laughs> your mouth yeah, is all dry. And you're yeah. <sighs> Yeah, well, that's good. Fucking then you sucks. switch in flavors. You're like, I mean, white claw. What do you want? Like, doesn't matter. You stuck with a lemon. You're sitting yeah. there chugging lemon malt liquor. <sighs> that's what it is, right? It's it like is. malted. It's like malt malted syrup. Right. Well, what is it? It's, a, it's like a malted. Thank you. Good move, dude. It's like a malted. Just agree. We want yes men. Yes, you're absolutely right, guys. It's a malt something. You guys were right. You, of course you knew it. Yeah, it's like malt. What is that? Sucrose? No, I looked that up. <laughs> sucrose. Yeah, whatever that's. Sucrose. Yeah, I think so. Whatever that stuff is, man, I, it doesn't. I I was pounding high noons. You get so fucking thirsty. They're fun. And Billy's they're like pretty em. tight. They're pretty tight. But dude, just yeah. some a guy like me, dude, out in the field with the Mexican bros, tequila on the rocks, man. Yeah, splash of soda, splash of pineapple. I'm being honest, not much tequila on the rocks action. Really, it's pretty much a mixed drink. <laughs> yeah, I was like you had a pretty fruity looking drink. <laughs> I wasn't gonna do it. Yeah, no. I'm gonna let you steal value. Guy like me, tequila. On, I was dude. gonna let you steal liquor right value. on the rocks, dude. Don't keep the lime. Just give me about like eight ounces of soda and about four ounces of yeah. pineapple juice. Try to completely mask the taste of the tequila. Guy like me, really. probably like five or six Bud Lights throughout the course of the evening. You know, God, nothing perfect. else. Is that Shane Plus? That's chain plus. Chain plus. About the fifth or sixth one. Yeah. I hit, dude. I was mad to the tenth. In bed. Just, yeah. In bed, just fucking every cell in my body vibrating from all oh, so much weed and dark chocolate. Because that's what happens with me. The alcohol allows me to go further into the weed. Because mm. it like takes down the CNS. My central nervous system chills, and it's and then I just go, "What's this? I'm not getting anxiety. Let's smoke ten times the amount of weed I usually smoke do. until we get it. Yep. And yep. I, and then it's like it wasn't even there, but the thoughts are disturbing me, and my body's not responding. It's just purely yeah. a Tron level in my mind where I'm sitting there going, like, this is fucked up stuff to think about, but it's all right. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the back of an Uber, like, yeah, man, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, that's a, bu that's a weird bug out to get into. What's that? Your own existence. Yeah. And just going. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I definitely exist. I'm real. We're all universes. How many billion years old? Eternal? Okay, that's fucking weird. I'm made out of eternal energy that's been probably a bunch of other stuff before me. Pretty cool, I guess, if I think about it. Oh, boy. Yeah, I guess that is neat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. Now nah, you just got to get some Bud Lights, dude. It will, it will wash it out. Be like, this song's the best song ever. <laughs> <laughs> Start me up. <laughs> that's it, dude. Yeah, true. 
Don't it, stop me now, cause I'm I told you. such a good time. If it's, I'm having a ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told you with alcohol, I like, I start to shut down. Just like my, I start getting like, I catch myself missing words and shit, and I'm just like, yeah, you can miss some words. But if it's just alcohol, I don't. It it starts getting like, feels shitty. I go, you like it. It's fun. Yeah. But if I can throw the weed in there, then it's like I hit the zone. And I, go, I don't think I've seen you just drink. Yeah. No. I, I don't, don't think ever. I've done it before. I did it in Australia that whole I'm time. I'm sure. Yeah. Australia, Australia was yeah. just the booze. It was a lot of booze. I didn't have my guardian angel. I didn't have Santa and Maria Marijuana. flowing around in me, dude. Yes. Surely I just get drunk and I, huh? Getting drunk and seeing those bats was probably as cool as it gets, <laughs> that dude. Was awesome. That was about as fun as it fucking gets, dude. Sure, there were some negative experiences as well, but. The, nah, bat, the, the bat coming out. The cigs, a, the cigs, cigs the bats. And bats. Cigs getting drunk, smoking cigs, and trying to load up a tree with fruit for bats. And not having any idea how fruit bats work. Yes, pretty fun. That was awesome. That was that a, first experience with the bats was as sick as it gets. <sighs> they were huge. They were so the size fun. of Gardini. Oh, for real. They're a bunch of Badinis flying around. <laughs> they were. <laughs> Gardo, you're a bit of a fruit bat. <laughs> Defend yourself. I Fruit say bats that. better than ho- horses. No that added to the list. No chance. There is a there is a cool bat I saw recently though. You ever see the hammerhead bat? <sighs> no. They Sounds go, pretty it awesome. Looks like it has a moose head. It's giant. I'll show you a picture. Whoa. I'd like to see it. Yeah, pull it up, please. And we'll slide that over. Please bring that up. There's no product like Lucy Breakers, the only nicotine pouch with a surprise inside. Lucy Breakers tiny capsules break open to unleash a burst of flavors like mint, mango, berry, and more. Gas or get a stronger and longer lasting flavor in those gas station brands. The hell? All right. Oh, then those gas station brands. My bad. Can we do it over? (laughs) Thank you. No, leave it. (laughs) Can we do it over? You're like a little kid. You're like, oh. Why do you like the Lucy Pouch? What flavor do you like? I like. Mango. Because I'm a bit of a tropical man. There we go. Save yourself a trip to the gas station or corner store to get your nicotine. Subscribe online so you always got a box ready to go and save 15%. Get 10% off your first order on Lucy.co when you use our promo code DRENCHED at checkout. Shipping is always free. That's Lucy.co promo code DRENCHED to receive $10 off and always free shipping. And here comes the fine print. Lucy products are only for adults of legal age. And every order is age verified. This product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. Now let's get back to the show. So what else is going on, brother? Nothing. Just chilling? Yeah. Just. Yeah, this, I mean, this is a holiday episode. A holiday episode, Jesus dude. What do you guys Christ. think? I'm just, but I went to one and they were just having an NFL 2K tournament. Mm. NFL 2K. RIP. Let's go. One of the most fun I like, games. Can I be in the tournament? They're like, yeah. There ended up being like six people. And uh, the winner got a copy of the game. Yeah. So I get to the finals. <sighs> it was two minute quarters. Yeah. I got the ball in the second half and ran the clock out. Bro. Yeah. I was a kid. <laughs> I, I ran like. <laughs> Who are you going against? An adult. Oh. <laughs> and I ran the clock. So he understood what you were doing. Yeah. I ran the clock the whole quarter. He goes, yeah. he goes you know, it's not cool to do that. <laughs> was it that passed, kind of thing? And he grabbed the game off the shelf and ran out of the store. <laughs> no. and, they, and they got him. They got him. <laughs> Security got him. Damn, dude, yeah. you, got, you, you got a guy a fucking case. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that he got fucking yeah. charged. And he was right to be upset. Yeah. You just being like running and then looking yeah, at him. Just being like off tackle. Off tackle. We're going off tackle, Good right? Good luck, pitch. <laughs> Three yards. That's another minute oh. off the clock. And then he's like, he goes fourth and one. You got to punt it. Yeah. And you go, or just run it. I'll just run a quarterback seat. Yeah, I can, I can just get through. First down. Did, did you look up what the NCAA was? You got the list of them? So I think I think O one is gonna be Winky. O one is Winky. All right. No, I think, I think one's they won the, I think they won the two thousand two thousands Winky. Okay. O one is Harrington. O two is I uh, think that's Sean Alexander. I think it's two thousand Chris Leak. No, Florida. no, no. You're I think it's Sean Alexander from Alabama running back. Oh, it might be. So I think it's two thousand Winky. 2000 is Sean Alex- Alexander. Sean Alexander. 01? Two, 2001 is Winky. Winky. 02 is Joey Harrington from yes. Oregon. 03. 
Ooh. O three is it's Delaware, I think. Oregon no. player. Oregon. Oregon O three. Is it Harrington again? Yes. It's Carson Palmer, the quarterback. Carson. Oh no, it's oh, USC. 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 Carson Palmer. Oh, sorry. Carson Palmer's alert. Yeah. O four. Might this have. Is, this is a tough period. O four. Reggie tough. Bush. N- uh, Reggie was O f- six or O seven. I know it, man. No four was the Mike Vick year. Pitt. Oh, oh, Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was a four. good year. Yeah. Oh, four is Fitzgerald. Oh, five has got to be Reggie Bush. Oh, five. Reggie Who is it? Desmond Howard. The, the Heisman classic year. Oh, six is Reggie Bush because that was the first Xbox 361. Yeah. In yeah, oh, five. Yeah. That's when I moved here to New York. And I remember the oh, five Desmond Howard. You could do career mode. And yeah. the better you played, you had girlfriends. Do you yeah. remember that? What? Dude, like, they started ball- out. The EA used to have cool shit. You, as the head coach in Dynasty mode, you could be like, a dude got in trouble for academic stuff. And you'd be yeah. like, nah, he's playing. <laughs> yeah. Sanctions. Yeah. And then if you did the solo career mode, you got a better dorm. Yeah, it had an ugly girl at yeah. first. Yeah, your, yeah. your freshman girlfriend was like ugly. And then by the time you were a senior, you were like, yeah, dime pieces. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Bring that back, dude. True. Yeah. I thought it was, if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's in the game. <laughs> game. Where's the nerd that's helping me with my test? EA yeah. Sports. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was in the game. In the game. <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Um, so Remember EA Reggie. Sports Big? EA Sports. Oh, yeah, where they try to do <laughs> they try to do NBA Jam for <laughs> yeah. everything. Yeah. They they did, still, uh, they're the doing streets. that now. They yeah. destroyed video games, dude. Yeah, because video everything games are destroyed, fucking dude. online. Yeah, they're like, oh, you want to bowl with bumpers? Here everything you, you have to fucking dismiss a like offer for new cards <sighs> or whatever. Dude, time. Madden is so hard just to get play to, Madden. to franchise. Yeah. Just to get to franchise. Trying to run a franchise. I'm telling you. I like scouting draft picks. You do. I like having a good time. Dude. <laughs> I like planning this organization. I do that in 2K. I build, I rebuild, I go to my gym and I rebuild like the Sam, Sacramento Kings all the time. Yeah, you got to rebuild. Yeah. I like to set the concession prices. I, like I can't. Yeah. Damn, these are high prices for peanuts. <laughs> yeah. You go, come on, man. The working man needs to have a beer. This is Philly. Come on, give him a couple of brewskis. <laughs> he's got a working man's got to have a beer when he's watching us. I, uh, I just always, now I just run dynasties with McDaniel. Because it's weird to see your friend animated on yeah. Madden. And then, like, I'll tell him what I do. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> in real life. That's awesome. I saw him at the Jets game. I go, dude, I'm in the AFC championship game with the Dolphins. And he goes, so why haven't you won it? That was no. immediately his response. Uh, you like, say less. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I go, you know what? Don't worry. I go, you got this situation handled with Skylar Thompson. I'm going to get us a trophy. I'm going to head back. I'm going to send on. you a picture of this trophy. And, yeah, dude. And then when we went to the Browns game, me and my boy, they were like, because when you're like, the access you get with a head coach, you don't get a ticket. You don't have a lanyard. There's just a guy that walks you around that's like, no, he's with me, like the head of security. Yeah. And he was like, do you guys want to go? Do you guys want to go? Watch the players get introduced, like to me and my friend Chad, and we're like, "What do you mean?" And we were down next to the tunnel where they run out. Oh, it shit. was fucking sick. It was against the Browns, like week fucking fifteen oh. or whatever. And every time a guy would run by, I go, "He's killing it, my in my franchise." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and my friend Chad would be like, "I don't fucking care." Eighty six overall. <laughs> yeah. I traded him for draft picks, and he's like, "All right, I don't give a shit." <laughs> yeah, dude. It's How about you? You get pumped on the vidges? Do you yeah. get excited about like when you watch wrestling? And you're like, those are my guys. Do you play like, do you play 2K WWE? You get yeah, mad? GM mode stinks though now. Yeah, but do you play like I just play like random matches? GM mode does stink. The last one sucked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You got like match them up every time. You yeah, have a there's big money guy, to you have spend. a small guy. You have a, yeah. yeah. Well, the new one's coming out this in a week. Month. Oh, maybe like next? Yeah, March, March, 14th. March 14th. Yeah, sorry. I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered the expensive one with Cena. <laughs> oh, you, that's it's when you... really unreal how much of this was just a conversation and not like a funny podcast. Yeah. <laughs> it just, I was like, and then I met this guy, and then I met this guy, and then like sports. You guys like sports? Yeah, but what? Do you, what no, it's perfect. You think they want to be like, all right, next topic. I'm just, yeah. uh, I'm just, listen, yeah. Matt's Today gone. Today we're going to talk about when East the, Palestine, when, Ohio. Matt's gone. When the shaman's away, the bull will play. Yes, yeah, time to talk sports. Uh, time to talk sports. <laughs> I never get to talk Dude, you sports. went to the fucking Super yeah. Bowl, right? Drake and you party, became, dude. You became friends with the most dynamic running back in the I got to take it easy. I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, it's like right. having a hot girlfriend or like a hot girl you're talking to. Yeah. Like I tagged him in a picture yesterday and I was like. Do you think Olivia, Do you think his girlfriend's going to be like, that Shane guy is talking about Chris Godwin. From the rafters, I had to, who would have thought? Wait, what? Anytime a like, I get when O linemen are fans. Yeah, or like a white dude. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm Taylor yeah. Heineke. <laughs> I know you're a bro. Dude. Of course, <laughs> yeah, you're one of us. Yeah, uh, but when like Chris Godwin from the Bucks hit me up, and was like, big fan. Can I come to the show? I was like, 
Absolutely, you can. Yeah. You're dangerous. <laughs> You're awesome. You're dangerous <laughs> one on one. You're the blackest guy I've ever seen. <laughs> Be my How friend. How do you like me? <laughs> Be my friend. I'm into white running backs, but I could find Ooh. a place for this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, spazzing on video games. Wrestling video games are hard to spaz on. Yeah, unless I, the computer beats you and you're like, "That wouldn't happen." I you start talking. Man, and I play on legendary. I don't lose. Me too. Uh, okay, I think, okay, okay, I okay, think okay. Lamar and I need to have a little. I think we could settle this. Yeah, it means slam match. jamboree. Yeah. Although these guys try to beat me in UFC every week, and <laughs> God damn, I put a hurt on you these hurt boys. Yeah, smash, <laughs> smash. I say now we talk. But do you think? Do you think they're afraid to beat you? No. You I'm not one part of them. That's like, I actually don't video game spaz. You don't. I don't video. Our game first spaz. hang, I, like you actually got me to spaz, and I had the series. I don't video game spaz. I beat you three well, games. I, I, you were. I mean, those were neck and neck, and then one game there was a quit. Well, first off, <laughs> first off, <laughs> it was an all time kick in half. <laughs> there was some bullshit going on. Shane won in a bullshit way, and I was like, "We're not going to continue." Yeah, I think this. it was thirty-one to ten. I, I and anyway. it, I was like, "We're going to run it right back." And you go, "You quit." And then he just had me that whole weekend being like, I got you to quit. And I was like, no. Made his ass bullshit. quit. No. <laughs> it was a bullshit reason, and we all know that. Was there anything that would get you more, like, I know wrestlers would geek us out. Yeah. And NFL players geek us all out. Yeah. What would, like, Wayne Rooney is a good example of something that where you would be like, oh, shit, that no one I else wish, would care about. Because in an airport. saw Mad Dog Maddox, you go yeah. nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> in an airport, you don't want to disrupt attention. Yeah, yeah. If it was anywhere else, I'd be like, can I get a picture? Yeah. But in an airport, you're just like, sup? Uh, is there anything like, is there anybody that's like a scholastic? would have been huge. No, but like scholastic that would get you to pop? Is there like a writer or something? Oh, would be like Cornell West. Like, oh, oh, shit. I saw Cornell West. <laughs> really? He was on my fucking flight. <laughs> I, dude, I swear to God. <laughs> That's an was, easy mistake, though. Cornell West looks like every old black no, dude. dude. Here's what's crazy. I was on a flight. You're going to yeah. love it. I was on a flight with Cornell West. That's a racial slur, too. If you saw a black dude, you're like, Cornel Cornel West. West. <laughs> what the fuck you say, motherfucker? <laughs> my name is Doug. Yeah. Cornell West was on a flight. I had a transfer from Minneapolis yeah. to uh, New York. Cornell West. And Greg the Hammer Valentine. Oh yeah, let's go. Were they hanging Same out? Flight. <laughs> Different. Yeah, not Greg hanging the at Hammer all. Valentine. Dude, that guy was so mad. A fucking NHL in Fort. <laughs> Who's that? He's old school oh, WWF, yeah. dude. Yeah. And I saw him, and I was like, I walked up. I was like, I'm a bit, not Cornell West. Greg the Hammer Valentine. <laughs> yeah, I was a big fan. He was like, this, he's all old. He's like, all right. right. Oh. Yeah, and I was like, oh, you're right. You look like an old lesbian. Yeah. Can I just be your old lesbian? <laughs> yeah, ass. Shut up, dude. You're hurt now. Let me, let me move around. You get knocked out. Yeah. Puts me in a fucking in a hole. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ah, Greg the Hammer Valentine, stop. <laughs> Gonna say his full name. Yeah. <laughs> Greg the Hammer Valentine, please stop. Let me go. <laughs> you saw Cornell West. I don't think anybody scholastically would. I think there is a guy, though, because you're in the history and shit. There is probably one person you're not thinking uh, about that if you saw or if you were like realized Ken it was Burns. him. Ken Burns would be tight. I wouldn't even recognize him. Yeah. But I'm saying if Dan you Carlin him, would be tight. Dan Carlin? Carlin, yeah. Carlin would be like, like, excuse me, Shane. This, he goes, this yeah. steak is not cooked. Yeah. I ordered a medium. He's like two heavyweight fighters. <laughs> yeah. Now the Japanese are more than the Japanese. <laughs> and you go, are you Dan Carlin being racist? <laughs> He's like, uh, Dan Carlin would make you. Some politicians. Yeah. You, you saw Obama. Mm. Obama. Oh, I, saw, I saw Trump. That yeah. was, I Close was that up. one, yeah, at Mar-a-Lago. You yeah. saw him just like walk through the room. I saw him like talking to a table from like us to that chair. Yeah, and we like, like oh, 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 did you want to do your impression, Adam? <laughs> no, he started. He was doing the hands. I was like, oh. he's doing the hands. <laughs> he was talking. To, he was entertaining a group of rich people at a yeah. table, and he was like, that's great. And Dude, we like, had a case oh, study. He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing: you can talk shit about any politician. Hillary's in the room with you. You're like, oh fuck. Yeah, it's just, even if you don't like them, you're still like, oh shit, oh shit. Like, uh, like if just randomly, like George R- W. Rogan's Bush is up there. Rogan, Rogan, when the first time, not that he's on yeah. this level, but he was one. Chappelle, obviously, those ones. But that's in comedy. comedy. Yeah, it's like you're. I'm trying to think of comedy. You're just like because I remember the first time Chris, like Chris Rock, just walked by when I was at Stand Up New York. A crazy one to see when I was in like I was doing open mics and he yeah. came in on a Monday show that I was on just to do a set. And I was like, like seeing him. Uh, the craziest one was the 49ers sucked. This was like 2008, maybe, in the or 09. The 49ers just were not good. And they beat the Rams, Sam Bradford and the Rams. And I was mm-hmm. excited about it. And I was like a little drunk. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go by the cellar because I just got in there. And I was like, I'm going to go hang. It was Sunday night. 
And I walked and sat down at a table and Robin Williams was just chilling mm. there. And Robin Williams was like sitting there talking to Jim Norton. And I was like, oh, shit. And I didn't talk to anybody. And Lenny Marcus went like, so did the 49ers one, right? And, you know, Robin Williams from the Bay Area. So he goes, he just looks up. He goes, 49ers one? Look right at me. And I went, they did. 31-21 over the Rams. Yeah. And I got the 31-21. Yeah. It was a great game. <laughs> exactly. It was, it was, it was, exactly uh, it was like 75 degrees. Yeah. Alex Smith was <laughs> Alex Smith was 17-31 with 231. Yeah. Uh, right, just, it was like Robin Williams got me this. That was the one where I was like, oh, shit. The Niners won. Yeah. Robin Williams was big. That was big. I, you, I told you about, you were with me when I saw Rock. I was. You brought me to the cell. Dwayne. Oh, Chris. Oh, the, I mean, did I say the Rock? He said. No. He said. Rock. He said Rock. 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 Oh. Yeah. Uh, you brought me to the cellar. I, I was. That was always so funny. You would bring me to the cellar, and I'd like sit at the bar. Yeah. Because you would sit at the table, but and then I, would, I, would, like, I would do my I chair. Like, was like in between the. I'd literally like look back and at I'd the be table. Like, I'd try to bring Shane into conversations. <laughs> bar. And Voss knew you, so if yeah. Voss was there, it was easy. But like other people, I'd be like. Well, my friend Shane, who just moved here, yeah. uh, like direct the conversation. Yeah. And they would be like, <laughs> "Okay, <laughs> who's this white guy that Soder's yeah. bringing?" That's around? a big bro move, dude. Yeah. It was a big bro. Yeah. So then he, so Soder and me and Michelle Wolf were sitting at the table. Soder goes to do a spot. He runs downstairs. I was like, "Fuck, should I sit here? Should yeah, I?" Yeah, yeah. And then as soon as he walks out, Chris Rock comes and sits down, and him and Michelle Wolf are just <laughs> talking, and I'm yeah. just sitting there like. And then they said something about, I don't know. I said Sandy Hook was a hoax. Chris <laughs> <laughs> Rock started laughing. And I was like, yes, got yes, him. yes. Got him. Yeah. yeah, that was like, I remember Seinfeld walked by when I first moved to the city. And I was like, I was like I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to Seinfeld. I was outside smoking a cigarette. And he's walking in the stand-up New York. And I was like, crap's pretty good in there, Jerry. And he's like, <laughs> and just walked by me and I was like fuck, devastating fuck, fuck I don't know how you get to that though like I'll still you know how when you walk around the corner from the village underground to the yeah, south say what's there's always the, the guys the there's always the guys like comedy show yeah, barking. barking and I would never be like they're like hey how's it going I'd never be like Seinfeld does that though and then and then he yeah. came out in the press and he was like I'm autistic oh, you're like, and, right. I think, and I think he was just like trying to cover <laughs> 